Okay, so let's start with the question. What is sleep? Is it the thing we do when we're supposed to be paying attention in class? Is it what we think of when we hear incredibly loud snoring? Or is it a period of rest after a long day of watching TV marathons? All of these might be what sleep is to you, but sleep is an altered state of consciousness. So you're still considered conscious even when you're asleep. This specific state of consciousness consists of five different stages. The first four are known as non-REM and the last is known solely as REM sleep. All of these put together make up what we call the sleep cycle. Every 90 minutes or so, we pass through a cycle of five distinct sleep stages. The first four stages are known as non-REM sleep. And the fifth stage is known solely as REM sleep, which stands for rapid eye movement. This brings us to stage one. This stage only lasts about one to seven minutes. This is when we transition from wakefulness to the other three stages of non-REM sleep. This is when the body begins to unwind, just enough to slow down and relax. This is also the last stage you're in before you wake up. Unless, of course, you have that annoying alarm clock. Theta waves, which are very slow brain waves, also occur during this stage. Now let's discuss stage two. This stage lasts for about 20 minutes. This is when the brain begins to produce. <coughs> Can I get a drum roll, please? Sleep spindles a.k.a. rapid rhythmic brainwave activity. This causes your body's temperature to decrease. And your heart rate also begins to slow down. Next, we have stage three. This stage is the transitional period between light sleep and very deep sleep. Deep and slow brain waves, known as delta waves, occur during this stage. Next, we have stage four, which is similar to stage three in the sense that they both have slow delta waves. Stage four lasts for approximately 30 minutes. This is the stage that bedwetting is most likely to occur. If sleepwalking were to occur, it would happen toward the end of this stage. Finally, we have stage 5, which is also known as REM sleep. Don't forget that that means rapid eye movement. Most of your dreams occur during this stage, such as your dreams of taking over the world. We like to call this stage paradoxal sleep because as brain activity increases, our voluntary muscles become paralyzed. Even after we get ourselves comfortable in bed, we still don't enter REM sleep right away. It takes about 90 minutes after we lay our heads down to rest to enter into REM sleep.
Although there are five stages of sleep, they don't always occur in this order. But don't worry, there's nothing to fret about, even if you're OCD. When you fall asleep, the body undergoes stages 1 through 4, and then stages 2 and 3 are repeated before REM sleep occurs. After you hit stage 5, or REM sleep, the body enters back into stage 2. This cycle continues for about 4 or 5 more times before returning back to stage 1. The first cycle of REM sleep might only last about 10 minutes, but as the night goes on, REM sleep progressively becomes longer and can eventually last up to an hour. This means that you could end up dreaming about your Mr. Prince Charming for up to an hour instead of a measly 10 minutes. Although this may sound like a peaceful night's sleep, you may encounter a detour to your restful destination. One of these detours may include night terrors, which is when someone wakes up in an absolute frightened state. Another detour you may encounter is sleep apnea, which consists of temporary pauses in breathing throughout the night. Wow, all this talk of sleep is making me tired. Well, hopefully this gave you a little more insight to understanding what really happens when you turn off the lights and start counting your sheep. Thank you for your time and we wish you all the sweetest of dreams.